In a previous video, I introduced the uh, Silent Censored and Ridicule that was done by Dreaded Cheetah and the occurrence of Adrian Brennock in there and the confessions of him as a bankrupt and also saying that he made agreements with several agencies to not speak in public. Now before I explore that a little bit more, I just wanted to bring attention to these two videos that they've put up. One is the Nightcap Village trailer four months ago and the Nightcap on Minjimble documentary. Uh, this were, they were hidden on the channel. You could see in a previous, previous video that between here and here there were no videos. And uh, it is, it reappeared after they had bought out this um, ridiculed one. Uh, just an interesting thing to note that these two relate to each other. You can tell by the clothes that they've got on that they interviewed people on certain days. They've introduced clips in here and in here as well. So taking what was said, it's come down to a four minute clip, uh, which I will upload separately so that it doesn't get that discontinuity in it. I want you to listen very carefully to what he actually says, what he admits to, and he just basically shrugs it off and says, but it doesn't happen to people like me. Well, the thing is, it does happen, it has happened, he is a bankrupt, and he's not actually supposed to be speaking publicly. Now, do I know that he's a bankrupt? Well, the fact is, he actually admitted it. I don't have to prove it. But, I have uh, been sent documentation from a um, group calling themselves, uh, it's a screen name, Free Radical, uh, that's given me a whole heap of documents to do with this. Affidavits, um, court documents, summaries. Uh, it's interesting to start looking at it. These ones here, A, B, are documents that... Um, are to do with his bankruptcy. Uh, it is, uh, let's take it down to this one, it comes under B for bankruptcy, they follow. This is the bankruptcy applicate. Um, it's the details of Adrian Brennock's bankruptcy when he tried to get the bankruptcy set aside and they said no. So ultimately he already knows he's a bankrupt He's declared it in the video that these two here uploaded and confirmed. So if there was any conjecture about it, there is no conjecture. He is a bankrupt. And the thing that bankrupts have to do is, one, declare to any business activity partners in any way, shape or form that they are a bankrupt. There's a reason for that, because a bankrupt has trouble dealing with financial issues. And so you need to declare that legally that you are a bankrupt to anyone that you might have any financial dealings with. Now, especially if you are in charge of a multi-million dollar development project, and I don't think anyone even needs to prove he's involved, even though this uh, nightcap on Minjimble I have cut that down into uh, the sales pitch from pretty much just Adrian Brannock uh, so that he speaks for himself about his involvement and all of the involvement that he talks about is not the kind of activity that you would expect to find from a bankrupt and especially a bankrupt that has made several agreements to not speak publicly. Whether he's sitting on the property having an interview with someone, 
that he knows is going to become public or not. Ultimately, it's published, it has become public, and he's thinking he's treading a thin line. But I intend to make these short little updates. I'm going to include a link for the um, documents that I've got in the uh, Google Drive. I just started that up today and uploaded them. But I also started a uh, Facebook page. Like, I don't use Facebook, but I also understand that it's easier for a lot of people to access things through Facebook. So what I've done is I've started a page up, and all of these documents that I've got on my drive, um, that I, I'll update them as I get them, uh, they're all posted here, along with... Um, all the links to all my previous videos associated with um, yeah well I'm not going to take you all the way down there it's got all my YouTube videos on there so I'm going to leave links to this page I'm also going to leave links underneath in the description of each of the individual ones that I've uploaded to Google Drive so you can access them directly off the link in the description. Now I've been conducting a lot of research over the weekend, that's why I've been fairly quiet. It's becoming very in-depth. So what I'm going to try and do, especially for the Mount Burrell residents, and uh, the larger area of people that are concerned is to keep these very small, try and keep them focused and informative, uh, provide you with the means to access information. Uh, I've got links where you can leave comments on this page. Uh, you can provide any way that you want. If you've got something that you want to share and put out there as well, this is your opportunity. Alright, I am just going to introduce a little bit of this video to show you. Is because um, when you're watching something, especially when you've got them, got them muted, you can actually see them express themselves. And if it wasn't for the fact that Dreaded Cheetah kept sticking all these things in, um, there's even one section where Dreaded Cheetah severely cut what he said to make him say another sentence, you will actually pick it up. You can see the disjointedness in it. Because uh, the only thing I've done from their two-hour video is to cut out all the bits that have got him in it. And when he's sitting here, it's in the same scenario as the Nightcap official video that the dreaded cheetah couple are there speaking to him. And in the same circumstance, he's bought out. And this is where he's talking about his bankruptcy, the ATO, which is uh, part of the documentation that has been uploaded. You can see where he's tried to get the ATO to stop the bankruptcy. And they basically said no. Now, there's a lot going into why he was made a bankrupt, and it's an evolving story, as is so much with what's going on. So I'm going to try and keep them small and focus to one point at a time and rely on you to piece the, get the, the pieces together. Um, I am going to do other larger videos because there is a lot more that I want to say than in the snippets that I will try and stay focused on for you. So this one's a little bit more uh, explanatory. I'm going to try and make the future ones more, well, like what news reporters should be, where they present the facts and not their opinions. Now, I'm presenting the fact here that Adrian Brennock is a bankrupt. By bankruptcy laws, he is restricted in so many ways from the activities, especially business activities. If he is conducting in the, as he claims, to be representing, he is a developer of this multi-million dollar project, 
For him to be doing that legally, he would have had to have gone to the trustee of his bankruptcy and said, I want to be involved in this project. Do I have permission? And if he got permission, he should then be turning around and disclosing to every single person in the sales pitch he's giving them, I am an undischarged bankrupt and you are dealing with someone that is in that condition. It is a disclosure he has to make. We will deal with the fact that with Lumburn Horizons, that is apparently the owner of the disputed property, is in liquidation that seized an asset illegally. Now this plot is going to get thick and it's going to take a lot of twists. And as I said, I will try my best to keep it short and simple for those on limited bandwidth. I will leave the links for everything so that you can access them. Please, if you have any trouble at all um, accessing the links, I, uh, this is why I've up uploaded to Drive uh, because people are not everyone's able to access the archive org ones. It may be because they're in an in a zip file rather than just free floating. I don't know, but I'm hoping that these ones will work. So we've got uh, Balance the Scales page that is purely focused on balancing the scales in your community area, Mount Burrell. And uh, as I said, I'll leave all the links and I'll save a lot of my chit chat for other longer videos if you want the bandwidth. But I will be presenting all the key points of information. Uh, and try to keep it as simple as possible. But something for you to munch on now is the fact that there is uh, the key player in the nightcap development cold area up there is an undischarged bankrupt and he is not declaring this to any of the potential investors. And as a potential investor, when I communicated with them, there was nothing from the realtors to say that people involved with the development were bankrupts either. Or that one of the properties, uh, one of the owners, Wollumbun Horizon, that they claim to be the owner, is actually in liquidation and the asset has been sold off back to the community under another name. But that's an evolving story. Some, as I say, these are things that are not legal for a bankrupt to do. And I certainly have got a lot of questions that I want to raise in future videos. And I'll try and make each video about a particular question. And as I said, you can piece them together as we go along. I will do other videos where I do explore them a little bit more because I find these helpful for me. I actually have ideas when I, well, from from my perspective, I'm talking to myself right now. <laughs> you know, so when I talk to myself, it's like I say something. I thought, well, I never thought that before. That's a good idea. So what you're actually getting through from me is raw. And, uh, yes, yeah, sometimes I need a little bit to to get there. <laughs> anyway, it's already been longer than seven minutes and I'm trying to keep it down for the Mount Burrell residents. You take it easy. I will talk to you again soon.